Fulani Initiative for Peace and Orientation says it has had enough of the killings and attacks in various parts of the country while calling on other ethnic groups to come together to find a common ground against the ugly trend. The national chairman of the group, al Haji Musa Ado, made this known while addressing journalists in Abuja. Ado said there is need to embrace diversity as Nigerians and there is also need to support peace for different communities and the efforts of the wonderful administration of President Buhari. He condemned ethnic profiling of Fulani headers as criminals, saying it will only cause rancor and unquenchable disaster in the country. He further said Fulani are not the only cause of the current security challenges faced in the country, hence profiling Fulani as criminal is bad, unacceptable, and premeditated to exacerbate conflict nationwide. Peace in the country, engaging in orientation, sensitization, enlightenment, of Fulani, of Fulani pastoralists into a minimum set of standards for international best practices. It is encouraging to educate economically, culturally, agriculturally, and infrastructural development of the Fulani people and all Nigerians. Our mission is to build a platform that will promote the value of an enterprising Fulani so as to be of the best international standards. In the quest to reform the entire Fulani communities. Also speaking was the National Secretary of Walidira, who stated that community policing will be most prescribed means to address the current security imbalance of the country and these can be achieved using traditional rulers and the note that they are the ones that knows the hills and valleys in their communities. Four, to establish community policing in the country by the use of traditional rulers and emirates of each axis as anchor. Five, to engage in standard reorganization, reorientation, and full rehabilitation of the grazing Fulanese living in the bushes through establishment of quarters, schools, veterinary dispensaries, provision of boreholes, light electricity, antenatal and postnatal services. And finally, our position is to arrest, probe, and prosecute anyone found guilty of the killing, perpetration of killing, or incitement that might lead to the killing of innocent lives in the country with stipend penalty. I do appeal to the President, Vice President, Senate President, Speaker of the House of Representatives, State Governors and Security Agencies to come up with a proactive strategy to overcome the avoidable present security situation as there can never be development in a society by divided conflict.